What is going on YouTube? Hidden back and making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as VeChain. As I've asked you guys before to leave a comment down below as to what cryptocurrency you would like to see here on the channel for the upcoming week. So definitely make sure to leave a comment down below with the one you are interested in. Specifically in today's episode, yesterday's video, we talked about XRP Ripple uh, pretty much confirming the flip that we've been looking at. Now, the past couple of days, we've been very Fairly bearish on the market, leading to a what, what appeared to be a descending fractal, some sort of channel where at some point the apex did confirm, and we needed to see whether or not we were going to break through that resistance and head back up and flip to the upside, or if we were going to hit that resistance, retest it, you know, fail to you know confirm the breakout and flip to the downside. Uh, beautifully, we actually managed on most of the altcoins to flip back to the upside, which I am very proud of and very uh, happy to see. Finally, we're getting some volume up which might actually allow us to slowly and eventually retest all-time highs, hopefully breaking through there. Um, yeah, so we are going to be talking about that, the next targets that I do plan on seeing the prices move to. Uh, some of them are actually following the new uptrends that we have just drawn on the channel yesterday, so that's pretty interesting. But otherwise, if you guys are new, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up um, as it does help support the YouTube algorithm. Make sure to follow me on Patreon as well as Twitter for all of my crypto trades. I did link it in the description down below. Otherwise, let's jump right into today's episode. All right, guys, before we jump into today's video, I want to give a huge shout out to Blockchain Cuties for sponsoring today's episode. I wouldn't tell you about them if I didn't see some sort of value in the project. Hopefully you guys know Blockchain Cuties. They're going to be launching a public sale on Pokestarter uh, March 15th, uh, 2021 for the BCUG token. For those that don't know what Pokestarter is, is it's basically a protocol built for cross-chain token pools and auctions enabling projects to raise capital on a decentralized environment based on the Polkadot website. And as you can see, the BCUG token has raised quite a bit of money before their launch anyway. And hopefully you guys remember Blockchain Cuties, which is that collectible crypto game where you can buy like and play with animals, dragons, and fantasy creatures. As you know, like each one of them, you get to collect, breed them, test their skills and stuff like that. And then you can, in the in-game economy, it lets you trade them using like the smart contracts on Ethereum, EOS, Tron, NEO, things of that nature. And then as you know, each one can be transferred or sold to players like regular crypto. So now that you're familiar with Blockchain Cuties, Blockchain Cuties is also very very similar to another project called Flow. And for those that remember Flow, it's from Dapper Labs. And since Flow's token sale, which launched, which launched a couple of months ago, it's turned its 10 cent token sale launch to now $30 a token, which is absolutely insane. And the growth is tremendous. So lastly, the BCUG token sale public sale will be happening on Pokestarter this month. So definitely make sure to check them out in the description down below as I do think it's a pretty big opportunity compared to what Flow did. So once again, huge shout out to Blockchain Cuties for sponsoring today's episode. Otherwise, let's jump right into uh, the technical analysis. All right, so as you guys can see, uh, to jump into the technical analysis now, uh, we put out a video yesterday basically talking about how this flip that we were talking, you know, we were looking at is finally happening. And this is very interesting. Notice top 10 cryptos for the most part is pretty much back in that consolidation pattern where nothing is really up or down more than I would say one and a half to 2% at most. Everything is pretty much just consolidating out right now. But what's very interesting to see is the fact that we actually managed to see the flip form on most of the altcoins. To show you you guys really quickly looking at XRP we have Ethereum here as well as Bitcoin and then we have VeChain which we have yet to uh, analyze we're going to do that in a little bit but to jump right into things you can see Bitcoin is following out the path that looks absolutely amazing if you ask me so notice a couple of days ago, we had this downtrend here where we were creating lower highs. One, two, three. On the four hour specifically, we had these lower high formations and they all kept breaking bearish, lower and lower and lower. And that's why we came to this apex right here where prices were slowly starting to head back up. We found a higher low and started to create these higher low patterns, eventually leading to some sort of apex where we've pretty much been deciding, are we going to be breaking through this downtrend right here? Are we going to have enough support to break through here to the upside or are we 
going to be breaking bearish, flipping downwards, and coming back down to what we thought would be $40,000. Beautifully enough, um, we actually managed to break bullish, which was a surprise to me, as I talked to you guys about, and we actually started to consolidate up. Very similar to what we discussed in yesterday's episode. As I said, now that we formed this pattern, there's a good chance we're going to see these higher lows take place, which was clearly shown right here. As you can see, we're using this uptrend as a means of heading up higher and higher. Um, obviously, breaking above the $49,500 resistance was pretty key for Bitcoin to head up even higher, and we actually managed to do so. So I said yesterday, you know, with the prices moving up, there's a good chance we're probably not going to just skyrocket up like some of you guys are thinking, but we're probably going to use this uptrend and then maybe create a new one to create these higher lows and slowly help us up. So the fact that just yesterday we actually managed, or I think this was this morning, actually, this is on the 8th. Let's see what that is. Um, yeah, the 8th. So this morning, we actually managed to retest bottom support here, use this as a key and vital support level and slowly start to head up higher, which is great. This is what I anticipated. This is what I expected to see. So now prices are starting to bounce off this uptrend. So if things <clears throat> can continue out this pattern, it should allow the price to hit its next target, which will be closer once again, about 52,000. And we should see this movement head up and will probably land lower or sorry higher than the prior low currently landing at about 49,500 we should land next time above $50,000 so there's a good chance within today maybe by tomorrow we should be seeing target price of bitcoin to swing back up to 50 i'd say 52,000 and we are posting these trades specifically on patreon as well so you guys should definitely check it out we're also creating a beginner course that i um have been keeping a little secret with my business partner and i and uh it's finally uh something we're starting to get the moves on so definitely make sure to check that out but to move on from bitcoin as i know a lot of you guys are interested in obviously xrp you can see xrp does have the symmetrical triangle forming right here where there's a beautiful downtrend as discussed very similar to bitcoin and a beautiful uptrend that actually started to create these higher low patterns eventually filling the gap right here what's crazy to me is how undervalued the coin was believe it or not actually this is the four hour just this morning we saw a major wick and a major flare and the price actually popped off right at 48 cents notice how much volume was inside this candle wick right here compared to everything else we really have not seen any big movements maybe right here that's about it in regards to candle wick flaring up that high so really what we're looking for is today and only today to actually close above what you can see is a clear resistance of 46 cents which we're currently at and then obviously close above the moving averages right here on the four hour if we can see this confirmation and we actually managed to close i would not be surprised in the slightest if we can maybe use this uptrend to slowly pull ourselves higher and probably land closer to 50 cents in the next day or two so i'm fairly bullish right now on the way most of these coins are trading i do think that um you know xrp or sorry all these cryptos are foreshadowing what XRP is about to do. So I do believe that XRP is going to, you know, follow suit and follow along these other altcoins and eventually break up higher. So target analysis, as you can clearly see, has been creating these higher low movements getting snaggled in this resistance here but i do think as it tried to do today was break through this you know resistance and moving average and eventually pop up higher and as you can see it's slowly starting to do that and it should land us probably closer to 47 cents on the uptrend eventually bre breaking through and clearing these resistances and hopefully we'll be able to follow the other altcoins back up higher. So the flip is real. We're starting to see this on all the altcoins. Ethereum is doing so with Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500 is actually seeing that flip that we're looking for. Uh, but there's a good chance with these lower high formations, it may bounce off here and head lower. But I do think we're going to be heading up higher short term within the next day or two until we retest it. Probably, honestly, just by the end of today, we'll probably end up hitting this, closing at a high and then starting to see another, you know, bounce lower. But we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. There's a clear, um, you know, sending fractal that is forming, but we got rejected from there. So it's really up in the air. But I do believe short term within today, we should see the S&P 500 uh, move up a little bit higher. So um, in summary, XRP needs to close above the uh, moving average right here, as well as this daily resistance. I do think we look okay, though. Prices are starting to pop off, and I do think today is a good entry point, and I'm probably going to be entering this again, moving this up higher and eventually higher. So I do think XRP is coming back. I do think we're going to easily be retesting 48 to 50 cents. Uh, as you can see, we're starting to see that flip currently. And then uh, moving towards the daily, just to get a better overview, you can see we've pretty much used this uh, moving average as a means of support, hit this, and are starting starting to pop off. So I really do believe they are, we are going to be breaking through resistance. Notice here the beautiful 
descending or, or lower highs that are forming should be broken. If we breach that resistance, we'll create a prior low, hopefully, and we'll be able to head up higher. I mean, honestly, the last high, it's hard to, it's hard to tell. Um, clearly, there's a resistance here that we're battling. And I'm, I'm not entirely sure if we break through that, maybe we'll be able to breach through the lower high formations. But obviously, if we break through 56 cents, we'll be uh, out of the clear of these lower high formations. But I think these are the three, one, two, and three on the downtrend. If we can break through there, close maybe up here at 51 cents, that should be enough to create um, the reversal and the higher low formations we're starting to see. What I mean by that is we have one, we have two, we have three. Eventually, we bottomed off here at the moving average, and now we're starting to find that reversal where we're going to start to create maybe higher lows and eventually swing ourselves back up. That's pretty much where my head's at, and I do believe a lot of these altcoins are starting to do so. So I'm starting to become, and I'm flipping bullish on XRP and the other alts. Ethereum as well, starting to see that reversal looks nice. Uh, obviously, it looks like it wants to recover back to the uptrend, maybe to the moving average, just like Bitcoin did, but it's really hit or miss. Lastly, for VeChain, everyone that's still waiting on me for VeChain, as you can see, I have VeChain pulled up on the four hour. I'm going to switch it over to the daily real quick. Um, you can see, for the most part, there is an uptrend forming on this coin. Hard to tell, but there is some sort of uptrend like this. And we're gonna, we're obviously gonna tweak this. There is a clear cut, obvious resistance right here that we're battling. And I just want to zoom out. Prices really have not been this high in a long time. It's actually pretty incredible. On Bitfinex. Okay, so the four hours up. You can see there's a, a slight uptrend here. Um, let's see, where's the uptrend? There we go. Boom, just like this. We're starting to retest overbought on the relative strength indicator. Um, we are bouncing off the top resistance of the MACD. Things look interesting. The daily, let's see how the daily looks. Flipped, overextended a long time now, it seems like. Um, so we clearly have an uptrend here. There's clearly supports as well, but this we haven't had prices at this level just yet at least on Bitfinex. So we could clearly see there is some sort of uptrend that's being retested right now. I do think, you know, six cents seems to be that resistance zone. I mean, look at this. Take a step back. The daily is also becoming overbought. Uh, let's, the four hours overbought. The weekly is overbought. I mean, there's a lot of coins and a lot of signals that show might not be the best thing to get involved in this coin. The only confirmation I would have to be buying into something like this, obviously, why buy into a coin that's overvalued when you can buy into plenty that are undervalued? Um, but why buy into the coin when we're retesting this top resistance here? It doesn't make sense. Obviously, if we can get a confirmation where price closes a little bit higher and we close above this resistance right here, there's a good chance we may see another flare and we'll obviously buy in for the run on that but um obviously if we don't today or tomorrow we close below here there's a good chance we're going to see that dip back down retest the you know this uh ascending triangle and eventually fill in the gap because we're only halfway through and if i was a betting man i would say there's a good chance we'll probably see the dip downwards more than breaking through but obviously it all depends whether or not we can clear through this resistance here if we can clear through it buying and long baby if we don't expect to see a correction is it traded on um bit yard let's see v chain not seeing it on the main area vet don't see it on on bit yard so that's unfortunate um so you're gonna have to use other altcoins or other platforms to trade uh, which is fine but otherwise it's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video if you are new definitely make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications leave a giant thumbs up once again huge shout out to blockchain cutest for sponsoring today's episode and i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace